Hello, everyone, and welcome to your daily lighting critique. So today's recording of the actual live demo got a little hosed, so I'm going to give a quick recap of what we talked about. Uh, out of the gate, we had a happy birthday to Carolina. It was Carolina's birthday this weekend, so I wanted to wish her a happy birthday. Um, and also, we started with hers, so let's go ahead and do that here. Um, the, the two notes that I gave her were, one, we wanted to brighten the irises of the eyes, which I will continue to do here while I talk about the second note. Um, the second note was that the background is, um, although we've got some blues in the top half of the background, the bottom half is feeling a little, um, uh, the bottom half is feeling a little bit on the warm side. And I really just want the, uh, the color of the character to kind of, um, to, to be kind of the main warmth element in the scene and allow the rest of it to just kind of be along that cooler line. Um, looking at these eyes here, yeah, I think, I think basically what we want is we want a little bit, we want, yeah, value more in there for the eyes. Now, like she totally nailed the iris color and, and although the iris would probably look like that in reality, like if you actually shot this, but um, whenever we're doing CG stuff, we, have, we always end up pushing that a little more just to get a little bit more connection on the character. So something more along those lines that region to kind of just tie it all together there but yeah all in all i think i think it was looking really 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 good but yeah nice shaping nice focus on here skin values looking good um everything else is looking really really nice so uh david or davide i i believe it's davide i'm gonna go with that if it's not please correct me so based on your reference again it was uh warmth bright sunlight on the character hitting a little bit here a little bit on our foreground character, uh, creating, some, and it's all warmth in, in, he, in these tones. And then in the background, back behind them, no sun hits, all kind of falling into our cooler color palette. Um, doing a great job here. I think we can push the value of this light a, a bit more. I think that, that once you add saturation to a light source, you have to counteract that by adding more intensity because the saturation will actually, actually acts as a multiplier. Uh, on the value of the light, so it'll actually bring it down a little bit. So I think this character's value is good. I think this one can go a little bit brighter. If you can add a little depth of field, I would do that. Like a little bit of blur back there would go a long way. If that's if you're not ready for that uh, uh, with your learnings, don't worry about it. You, we can we can do that in a future project. This is just a, a way to get your legs, um, you know, your your feet wet and kind of get kind of get going a little bit. And um, then the other thing you want, there's a little black little nugget down there. I would just plug that hole. Um, a little bit there. I think that was it here. Yeah, you've got a nice fall off of this character going back this way, which matches the reference. Um, and like the position of your lights are all good. It's just, just kind of getting that, that last little bit. Oh, I said that this one was a little bit yellow green, but it's like that in the reference. And that's mostly because of the yellow greenness of the, the rock itself. So, um, I think you match that well. I think that's just, just, uh, using your eye well. Uh, Holly, we've got beautiful reference here. So, uh, again, previous version and the update. So the biggest thing with this, based on the um, reference, is the reference has you know these this, like really strong color palette is of warm sunset light and uh, cyan-y blue ocean, um, and kind of combining those colors. And I think it's great. Um, in order to push that a little stronger in here, I think we can sneak in some of the sun back in this area and, and push that red color into the sky a little bit. <clears throat> and then what that'll do, I like that you added more wrap and light on this rock. That really helps. That'll tie those values together a little bit. And also we can then create a little bit of this haze. Like you see this haze, you know, back in here and back here and back here, over here. That's like that warm kind of glowy haze that exists in the background back there. And what that does, you can see especially here, it, it creates a lack of contrast on the background rock over the foreground rock. We can do the same thing here by like having a little bit more lifted value on this, a little more haze back there, and then the contrast of the characters really pop forward. So that's one, just kind of getting the, that background together with, the, with more sun in the sky itself and then a little haze back there. Uh, number two is there's, is that I'm working on with the characters is there's a balancing of their saturation that I think needs to take place. So, Character on the right, very saturated skin, 
Um, but his hair, the character's hair, is not, uh, it almost feels like the saturation has been removed. I just see white, black, and kind of gray values in there. Um, same thing with the hat and the boat and the, and the, the net that the character is holding. Um, I, think, I think that we could probably add a little bit more saturation in there. Um, in terms of the skin tone on the character, I think, I think that feels about right. I would like to see some reference on what you were going for so we, we can have an idea of, the, of that. But, I think, but the, there's some rosiness in there, which I think is really nice. I think that's, I think that's feeling nice and warm and, and, and happy. For the uh, character on the left, the mermaid -y character, I think the, um, the, the scales of the legs, flippers, that I said this during the live one, I, my mermaid knowledge is less than I thought it was when I started this critique. Um, I don't know their anatomy as well as I thought I did. But whatever the, the bottom half of the character on the left is looking nice. I love that color. I love the variation in there. I love that you're getting variation within the specular highlights. It feels very wet to me. Um, I think that's I think that's actually looking pretty good. There might be some minor refinement we can make by like breaking up that reflection a little bit more, but I think overall it's it's really really good. Um, the character's hair and skin tone feel desaturated to me, and in that the the skin is almost like a porcelain um, and less like it's flesh and blood. So I think we can get some warmth in there. Again, it would be really great to find some reference of skin tones, unless you're going for something else, in which case, please, you know, yell at me. Um, but, same, but same thing with the hair. I think we can get some warmth in the hair as well. Uh, again, that would be really nice uh, to find some some reference in there. I mean, I, I, you could even match the color tone of the character on the screen, the screen right-hand side too, um, in terms of the warmth value, and then and then and then adjust from there. Um, but overall, I think I think that your light position is really good. I think we're seeing a lot of shaping coming across the boat here, um, coming across here, coming across the characters' faces. Hair is looking like beautiful. In terms of shaping, I think that I think that's working really well. I just want to, for the characters here, I want to just play with their kind of kind of balancing the saturation of the foreground a little bit as our next next major hurdle going forward. All right, we got this one from MHD again. Very okay. You can see the kind of uh, the mock ups here. So kind of a hazy background. Um, light coming in on the edge here, uh, hitting the ground here, kind of bouncing up and in. We've got uh, cool rim on the left-hand side, warm rim on the right-hand side, values dropping as we go down, um, and then just like, hey, yeah, like the little haze in the background there. Um, in terms of what we're seeing here, so great job matching the aspect ratio. Oh, I lost it. There it is. Um, I think we can. I think. I think there's. There's. I think there's two main things. I'm sorry. Let me see this again. I believe that there are, I think, three things that I'd like to focus on for the next iteration. Um, the first one for me is because I always look for like technical issues with with the shot, and the first one for me is the shadow casting because there is a bright light kind of coming in rear behind the character, but I'm not seeing uh, shadows cast out from the feet. Um, I see little ones, but like I would expect a a more prominent shadow coming forward. So that would be one. Um, number two is the position of the light. I think the light, this light is wrapping around a little bit too far uh, based on the reference. I think it's, I think it's more, it's almost like a rim light in there. Um, so I would, I would pull that back and, and just kind of make that kind of hit just along the edge with just like a small bit of wrap. And then the rest of the light on the front of the character will come from the bounce. Um, so that's number two. And then number three is let's try and get some more darkening, especially as we go down. The geometry of your character is different than the reference in that there's this hole between the character's legs. Um, and that'll, that'll bring some more light in. But I do think there's an opportunity to get some, some darkness as we go down the character. Uh, so that's, that, those are the three things I would, I would work on uh, for you here. Let's see. And then last up, we have uh, Raghavendra. Yes, and for this one, oh wait, this is, yeah, this is the original. I'm sorry, this is the, the update. This is the, the first one. Huge progress. This character's looking a thousand times better. Um, and, and, and now that we have this, and looking at this, I think that there are a couple of things that I would change. Number one is, um, I love the reflection, but I think it's a little bit too strong. And like, if I'm just kind of looking right around uh, his face here, it's, um, it's, uh, if I'm looking right around his face here, 
Um, I, I, I get kind of lost as to where his lips end and where the reflection is. If I look down here on her legs, um, it's hard to tell which is her leg and which is the reflection of her leg. Like, it feels like this is going down here and then this is a reflection, but it, it just kind of feels like she has three legs down there or something's going on. So um, I would tone down the reflections a little bit. But the bigger thing is that I, I don't think we gain anything by seeing much of the inside of the restaurant. Um, I would I would tone that down. And this was just kind of like the, the rough uh, color value that I did here. Something a little bit darker. Um, we can still see into the restaurant. Like there, there, there's still a world that exists in there. But I would, I would tone that down. Um, and then, again, this is very rough, but you kind of get the idea. And then um, we just watch out for the brightness again on that plant. I think this this value is really good to kind of shoot for it. It's just that when it gets that bright, it starts to distract away from the characters a little bit. Um, but loving the shaping, you got the warmth, you got the cool, the back, back light on the character's back. Um, it's a little bit strong, this this cool light on the back, but um, but all in all, I think that's I think that's working really well. I just and, oh, and then the other thing is is the character's face here. I feel like that's a little bit bright, like he, on the character himself, not just the reflection. And I feel like she is a little bit dark overall. So I would like to take his value down maybe 10, 20% and then raise hers about 30% to try and match match their values up a little bit. Uh, but great shaping on um, some of the values like the arms, the legs, um, some of that stuff is starting to, starting to really kind of come into play. It's just now going to rebalance some values. And like um, when I was taking down some of this area, some of the things I was looking at was like over here, uh, like that doesn't provide much value uh, aesthetically. So I think we can just kind of darken that overall. And then the other thing that you want to do um, is that these wood uh, beams are, there's a couple things that are going to, that are going to happen, especially when they're outside. Um, they're going to be weathered and aged um, in that they're not going to be a consistent color throughout. So if you could just maybe put a, a noise on there to kind of break up their color. And then also like they look very like perfectly flat right now. Um, and, and if you, like I'm looking outside my window right now at a wood wall and, and there's much more uh, texture on them. And so this light that's kind of scraping along would pick up more of the, the wood grain on this and, and bring it down. So I would just I would just try and add that in. This is lovely over here, by the way. This kind of like blue light that's kind of hitting it right here and kind of picking up on some of that. I just want to see it in these as well. All right. That is all for today, everyone. Um, and let me know if you all have questions. Again, written critique tomorrow. We'll be back live for a video critique on Thursday, and I will see you all shortly. All right. Until then, happy lighting, everybody.